Hello, and welcome back to Awesome Chaotic. It's awesome you're here, and welcome back to more. Hmm, I thought we could accept that. Welcome back to more of Surviving Mars. We're uh, getting one more trade rocket for food because they're kind of out of food, but they're also kind of out of concrete because they kind of keep breaking down. So I'm thinking of actually just getting a second concrete extractor for the time being. Just so that at least during the day we will have some proper concrete uh, production. Uh, something like this should be okay. Because we, uh, we need two machine parts. Our machine parts are currently at one. Let's have a look. I think we can request some more passengers. So there we go. We have some more buildings constructed over here. A casino complex is done. Our hotel. The amusement park. So I'm opening this dome. Let's see if we actually uh, get some people working here. We're currently at 195 people. Quite a lot Martian born. But also definitely waiting on more people, so... Waiting on some polymers, waiting on some electronics. I don't know, is all, all our living spaces are probably completely full here. Oh, and our amusement park already needs some maintenance, wow. These ones are pretty much empty though. You look at that, they're not even taking the inside. Our temperature is up by 12.35. Vegetation is still really low. But that's also because... Where is our... thingy? It doesn't do that much. So we can actually... Maybe speed it up a little bit by just setting all the plant types as the same. Let's see what it will do. We still have quite some rare metals left over here. Perfectly fine. We are still producing enough metals over here. So would you look at that? Our art store, we're waiting on polymers. And I'm actually thinking, should we... We have work slots and 18 residential slots, but that's only the retired people. Vacant residential slots, 15. And all the jobs are completely full. This one we can even take down. So would it make sense to get another... Polymer factory around here. A fuel consumption will work. Hmm. You just need to shift a lot of fuel over here. That's the only thing. But that will be okay. And let's... What does it say fill this up? But we don't really have a lot of waste rock, I think. So over here... Waiting on concrete and metals. And how are we doing over here? Waiting on waiting on polymers actually. You know what? Let's set this in overdrive. One of our sponsor satellites have made some unbelievable photos of the surface of Mars. We found another planetary anomaly. Nice. Getting some more passengers now. And then I think 
Let's disable the dropping off of Varda things. And actually, let's see what planetary anomaly has come here. New technologies. Research progress. We still don't have a safari. Medics. A breakthrough. Hmm. Let's send out some medics then. And we probably kind of should order a safari at some point. Loading up on fuel. We do have quite a lot of people here. We still have more living space. Do we have some visitors here? No, we just have people working. Actually, I think the casino is a good one to also open at night. And over here, still getting our machine parts and electronics over there as well. And waiting on some extra polymers. Hmm. Come on, you can go. We have a bit of a food shortage indeed. How much more? We do need quite a lot more concrete actually. That's one thing I never expected to be out of. Oh, power, you know, even this one. Can we get a supply pot, please? We don't really have much funding. Maybe actually some polymers. Uh, no, we will do it like this. We now have a lot of starving colonists, oh boy. We are actually growing potatoes here, that's awesome. We... Whoops. I don't have people working here, so maybe if we disable the specialization. Set these as more important. We are getting food over there. Are we growing food anywhere else? I don't think so. That's your security station. Hmm. 28 people starving. We are producing 5.5 per soul. And that's our rocket back already. Now we have our landing bolts. Foreigner in a foreign land. The medical team returned with a perfectly healthy boy, about 11 years old. DNA research confirmed he is 100% human and even revealed his origin. He is very probable he was conceived on the board of an early exploration rocket which was considered destroyed and the crew was missing. It is still a mystery how this boy survived on Mars without any protection. He doesn't speak any human language and only smiles and looks around with wide gleaming eyes. He doesn't seem to have ever met any other humans before, so we will need to teach, teach him about him everything about our culture before we can ask questions. Hmm. Getting some, sending him to Earth and gaining some research is nice. Gaining information using hy hypnosis and other scientific methods or waiting for the child to grow. Let's wait for it to grow. I think that's uh, going to be a nicer way. Oh, he grew up quickly. Mike, the person who has been found as a child roaming the Mars surface without any protective equipment, has grown into a young man. He has learned several languages. 
but he still claims he lacks the words needed to explain how he survived and what is his connection with some old ones he mentions every once and again. Some say he has been raised by aliens, but he disagrees. All the questions he says can be answered only in the tongue of the old ones, as the language shapes the thought and the thought can change space and time. He eventually Mike decided that the humankind was hopelessly confused and unhappy, and he tried to establish a new religion which would change the very human nature by teaching the language of the old ones. His cult, which promotes social libertarianism and some non-mainstream family structures, quickly gathered followers in our colony. Needless to say, some ideas put pressure on our community. Hmm, Mike only means good. Some religious colonists lose morale, a few become saints, uh, forbid his new religion, that's basically the same outcome. The road as hell to hell is paved with good intention, banish Mike to keep the peace. Hmm. Well, let's just go over here and see what it does. Mike is dead. Well, that's something. 25% of religious colony loses. 40 morale for 20 souls. Two more colonists have become saints. A colonist has died. Well, and then one died. But that's Mike. We don't have enough water? Ooh. That's no good. How can there not be enough water? Oh, because this is under maintenance once again. Uh, let's fuel you up again. Let's destroy you. So we can actually just disable one of these, that's fine. What else uses water? All of these have their proper coating. They do. Hmm. We have a water reclamation, so maybe if we open that one with two extra slots. There we go. This is still getting loaded. This one at least does have all the machine parts now, so whatever machine part we produce now, there we go. Actually, go back into restoring all these things. Let's make sure these are actually powered up. That's our transport bot. And we can ship you off. So since we actually have a lot more space here, we can... No, okay, over here it's all okay. We still have our starving colonist, but we're now actually producing quite a lot of concrete. It just needs to be transported. Are we getting any concrete over here? They only seem to be dropping it off here. Yeah, they actually are. That's okay. There we go, getting more concrete in here. What do we need over there? Still the same amount of polymers. We can turn this one on again. And let's turn this off. Polymers, we really need more. A night shift would be okay there. Over here, are we still? No, oh, it's only one shift actually. And yeah, I've scanned a planetary anomaly. That's okay. Hmm. 
and now our concrete production is going pretty okay. With two of these, that's fine. And actually, our commander can also move somewhere else again. You know, let's get that. Let's, let's get it around here. Um, you know, let's shift this over to. Let's see, we have potatoes that decrease the soil, that's plus 10, so if we have something that's... Oh, maybe just wheat. It's not the best, but it's also quite quick. Although we are unloading our food now. So, let's get one more passenger rocket. Hmm. Sure, I think. And can we get a safari? We can. Hmm. Yep, let's do that. Just to get a few more of these anomalies. What do we need over here? Electronics, more electronics. Okay, so electronics is now our uh, issue. And that's because we have literally nobody working here. We have not enough workers. Let's ex at least accept the food trade. It's mostly just polymers, actually. But even... Okay, but now we don't produce polymers because we don't have machine parts. Wow. And we are not producing machine parts because we don't have electronics. But at least we now have a safari. So, it is basically just... I mean, we can create a road, why not? So from here... To... I mean, we don't really have any interesting points actually, anywhere. Maybe just here? Just to route around the colony? Fine, I think. Create a route. And there it goes. And there are more people. So that will at least, I hope, give us the amount of people that uh, that we need. We have 20 available slots here. New colonists have arrived. I think most of them will move in here. Hopefully kind of start working here. So we just need our uh, machine parts. 
You know what, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to disable these slots. We don't really, whoops, need them. I mean, we need them, but I don't want to get our uh, sanity up. Loading up on concrete, going perfectly fine. We have a few Earthsea colonists, but now we've got a safari, so let's, uh, let's see. A breakthrough, resources, new technologies. Research progress, that's what we need. There we go. And that's all the food being exported. Taken out. Imported, not exported. Resources are low. So how is the construction actually going on for the... Ooh, it's actually running. Let's make sure that we upgrade this. We have enough fuel stored, we have got power. Oh, power is minus two. Uh, this one is decreasing. But why is that? Because this needs maintenance. Let's make sure this is actually uh, prioritized. Let's get some more food in. We still have so many places that need workers. Waiting for Palo to arrive. Come here. Safari, where are you? There he is. I mean, it kind of does look like a safari truck. Somewhat. And off they go. What do we need? Oh, we are actually we are producing four. We need four and a half in maintenance. And over here we need 85 electronics for construction. We're producing seven. I'm just thinking, should we just open these work slots? I, I Ooh, 3,000 in research. So Martian-born resilience. No sanity damage when working in outdoor buildings. Awesome. That's, uh, that's worth it. So, we have our casino complex. Actually, casino complex, we also have one here. So, let's take that one down. Let's put this one back here. We have a lot of people without specialization. You know what? Let's open the university slot here. For machine parts, no. I would have almost had accepted it, but no. Alcoholic, oh boy. So we need a lot more specializations. And we need a bit more fuel. Okay, now we have enough fuel. We're just waiting for it to get loaded in. There we go. And then this 
Okay, it doesn't automatically return to its route, but that's fine. We basically just needed it for that research. And now we're researching our lake crafting. Nice. Uh, so let's see, where is the... Over here, because if we want grass, we need... 20% at temperature, and 10% at... Humidity? Just water, 10% water. So that might be a nice next one. No power is actually discharging. If we look at our entire power network. Okay, this one is just negative. Uh, can I also unselect it? There we go. Food for concrete, definitely accepting that again. So how is this still nothing there? Nothing here. We definitely need to prioritize our own things first. How much are we producing? 14 a day, 8.5 a, a day, 6 over here. We need just 4 more in construction sites actually. 6 more for upgrades. And we're kind of okay actually if we keep the production going like this. But it says our production is 7. Oh, we're not... Must be connected to a water source. Uh, it was connected to a water source before. There we go. Now this should... Still, it still says 7. Hmm, that's fine. Funding received. We've got some more funding, which means that we can... Uh, let's go back and get another passenger rocket, so... I kind of want to remove the no specializations because we need so many more specialized people with basically everything. Scientist over here and then let's top it up with just a few more specializations. Done. So all these places don't have anyone working here. Let's move the food ones to efforts as well again. There we go, look at all that food coming in. Oh boy. That was at an unfortunate location. Personal space. A colonist has snapped. They demand more personal space and are barricaded inside their house until the demands are met. You arrive at the scene just to see a chair flying out of the window, smashing right in front of the crowd of concerned citizens. Um, oh, 
Now residences will grant more comfort or provide less living space. Personal space is a luxury we cannot afford. Um, well, let, let's give them a little bit more space. That reduces it to 18. But that's fine, we're building two more here. You know what, let's prioritize them because I'm not sure if we have enough space left. Seven out of eighty. Where is it all going? We still have four left in our construction site, and still uh, six left for these things because this doesn't need polymers. Stored across the map is just two point three. I mean, our consumption and maintenance is also five point six actually. But we're producing approximately 8.9 here, and producing 4.1 here. We're still upgrading this. Let's get some more passengers. We have 250 colonists. 254 even. Still, where are the destroyed drones? Let's salvage them. There we go. Poor little guys. Wow, look at that. Our machine parts are going through the roof now. Hmm. I think I'm just going to stop that shift. We have... 11 homeless, 14 unemployed. Uh, they can move around, right? And do we have some living space here? No, that one is full. This one is full. I kind of still want to change that one. Uh, well, yeah, let's ship it off. Still seven out of eight. Electronics, it's it's let's boost it a bit. We just need so many in construction sites. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can trade with anyone. Let's see if we... Uh, no. We have a pretty good standing. So if we say advanced resources, polymers, we need them pretty much anyway. And with space Y, we need... Ah, oh, they can't help us. Then we've got Europe as well. Also good, that's a good standing with everyone. Let's also request polymers from them. At least that will hopefully get us on uh, a positive polymer level. Ooh, 8.8. 9.8 and we're constructing. Nice. There we go, people moving in. Comfort 
Council of Residence is 70. I thought it would be 75 in these ones. We still have seven homeless, six homeless. Mm, people are... Yep, they're moving in now. What about a retirement home? This one is completely full. Over here, five out of 14. I'm waiting on some people still here. Smart home, it now just only allows two people. Wow. Kind of want to remove that living complex. No construction here. Seven out of ten. Nine out of ten. Come on, one more. There we go. We currently don't really have any homeless, so... I think it's a good time to destroy this building. And get a smart apartment here as well. Let's just make sure it's a priority. And I think, well, that's this for... This looks really good. It looks good. Look at these apartments. I think that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got some funding, so we can get more people over if you want to. Maybe not. We'll see. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.